Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Reese, and uh, while I'm in the middle of uploading my previous video, which is a Doctor Who trailer reaction, Marvel has decided to release a teaser trailer for the Black Widow movie. Or just Black Widow, as it's called. And I'm going to do a reaction to that. So, I'm going to make my headphones appear. And we're going to watch it. Because why not? I'm a huge Marvel fan, and I'm in the mood to do another trailer reaction. Ooh. I used to have nothing. From Civil War? No, Age of Ultimate. From Avengers job. Assemble. So is that. This family. That's a soldier. But nothing lasts forever. Is this all flashbacks? Oh, that is clever. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. So what are you going Some to intense do? Intense music. I've lived a lot of lives, but I'm done running from my past. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're we gonna talk like grown-ups? Is that what oh, we are? Oh, was she trained at the same academy? <laughs> Looks like it, same moves. Dang. You too, sis. What brings you home? Is that sisters as you know into the academy together or are they related? I don't know anything about these characters other we than Black Widow. Business. Dang. We have to go back to where it all started. Ooh, Ooh I've seen Lucky pictures us. of that. Oh, there's the academy. Things for sure. Ooh, it's gonna be a different hell of a Hey, there he is. <laughs> Family. Back together again. You got fat. No. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that was big. I was just lost in that. Nice. May 2020? Anymore? No. Okay. Wow. That was... That was really cool. Um, I don't know much about the characters other than Black Widow, and all I know about Black Widow is really what we've seen in the MCU. That's where a lot of my comic knowledge comes from, and same with DC. I don't know much about DC characters except for what we see on screen. Um, but this... This looks really cool. I mean... It's obviously got a budget behind it. It's from Marvel, which is owned by the biggest movie company in the world, Disney. So it's always going to have a budget. Um, it was always going to have a budget, to say that clearly. And I like the flashbacks at the beginning. I'm just kind of letting it play to kind of inspire me as to what to say next. And I like the... Because I, I need to remember, it's set after Civil War and before everything else. So it's kind of jumping back into the MCU in the timeline. That's really interesting. And then the fight between the two of them, they dress the same, their hair's the same, they know they have the same moves, so they were trained together. I'm assuming, because again, David Harbour says family, but I don't know if they are related or if he was also trained as a male soldier, a male agent, or maybe they are all related. I don't know. <laughs> See, I don't know much about these guys. I just know that I love the actors and the cast looks really cool. And these shots have been really nice so far. Like, I don't know how it gets so big, I just realised I was looking at the screen that whole time. I don't know how it gets so large scale towards the end. I don't know if, like, were the Russians building their own helicarrier or something like that? Although, why would they be attacking the Russians? I don't know. Again, I don't even know who she's attacking, <laughs> what her mission is now. But, yeah, uh, really good stuff. I really love Marvel. Um, I do have reservations about this. I think it's a bit late for a number of reasons. One, Endgame and what happened in that. Uh, two... She's been Black Widow for so long. Scarlett Johansson has been Black Widow for a decade, basically. And they had so many opportunities, so many chances where they could have done it, and they didn't give her her own film. I've no doubt in her. I just kind of wonder why it's taken so long. Is it, is it got to be like a love letter and a send-off sort of thing? Which is fair enough, but it also would have been better to have it earlier on. But anyway, yeah, it's teaser trailer, and for someone like me who doesn't know too much about the characters, uh, it looks cool. I wasn't too invested, 
But there is some stuff going on in there that you could think about. Because obviously in the beginning when she's looking at the mirror and she's talking about her family, she we could see the emotional consequences of uh, Civil War where she kind of had to run away. At, at some point she decided to run because she did go against what the government was trying to introduce, even the UN rather, was trying to introduce. And that could be highly dramatic. And, you know, in Endgame she calls the Avengers her family and then they were basically disbanded in that film. So that could have a lot of emotional impact, but that was kind of just mentioned at first and then moved on to action pieces, which is okay if you've got them, flaunt them, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, I'll probably be more emotionally invested for the next trailer when they'll probably show a bit more drama and maybe show the um, antagonist more. And I'll obviously be invested when I see the movie in uh, next May. So... Yeah, good stuff. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see other trailer reactions that I've done, like the Doctor Who one I mentioned earlier, have a look around my channel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll speak to you, well, the camera, and then you next time. <laughs> see ya.